What's up, everybody? This is Jason. And this is Michelle. And we are hanging with the Logans. We're doing the HWL podcast as we are riding around right now, having a, a day out. And uh, guess who we got with us? Tanaya! Hey, hey, <laughs> hey. Yep, she's with us hanging out. She's uh, one of our nieces that uh, we always have with us. And we came up upon the topic today, right, at, at dinner. We were talking about what we would do with a million dollars. Was that was that it? Yep. If we hit the lotto, what's the first thing that we would do? Okay. Okay. So yeah. So what, let's talk about it. So we're gonna turn the tables over to Tanaya to hear from the youth about what she would do with this money. Go ahead. I would um give to charity. Sorry. <laughs> Teenagers. I'm going to Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> That's messed up. Yeah, I'm playing. I'm playing. What would you really do today? You know, I don't know. I can't say what I would do because and then if I actually get it, I might not do that. Like, you never know until it actually happens. Mm-hmm. Good point. Like, yeah. What have you always wanted to do? Um, I guess the thing about thing about what you would do first is because you're, think, you're thinking about things that you would do because of money right mm-hmm. so because you get you get this lump sum of money you would say to yourself I'm gonna go do this because I couldn't do that before right mm-hmm. so if you had to narrow that down that's kind of where I would start right yeah you know what couldn't you do prior because of money that you would do because now you had it I think of it in terms of freedom. What would I do if I was completely free? Meaning I I didn't have to report to anyone or anywhere every day. What would I do if I was completely free? First thing that I would do is book a flight someplace that I've always wanted to go to and travel the world and learn about different cultures. Um, And then probably while I'm there, try to give back. Because now I also have access to money, right? So then I try to give back to the less fortunate in those places that I did go to. Mm-hmm. True. I think um, for me, I'm kind of in the same vein, right? Like freedom, right? So it would be about setting myself up not to do something that I don't want to do, like go to work every day, right? Mm-hmm. I guess when you got that much money, you, you kind of automatically don't have to do that, right? But now I can do stuff day to day that I really want to do, right? Mm-hmm. So now I can accelerate, like say my boxing program, I could accelerate that and really expand it and make it a something that I spend my 40 hours a week doing, mm-hmm. you know, and concentrate on on that or, you know, just go around and taking pictures of stuff, you know, because I like photography. And I can just go and take pictures whenever I want. I don't have to be constrained to, like, going into the office, mm-hmm. stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and that's I would also invest in real estate, start flipping some homes. Um, do some interior design. I definitely get involved in a lot of things I've always wanted to do, but I just didn't have the time to do, or didn't really make the time to do. I guess. Yeah. That's yeah. Tonight, yeah. what about you? I'm going to Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> so when you get back from Hawaii, when you get back from Hawaii, what you going to do next? Um, I don't know because I wouldn't say people people with money they wouldn't want to work or whatever but I wouldn't say that I wouldn't want to work or nothing because working gives you a reason to wake up or whatever like this summer I didn't have a reason to wake up so I was just laying in bed or whatever that's why I'm happy school came Mm -hmm. now I have a reason to get up but like so I would still work or do everything normal it's just I got a little extra money in my account Mm -hmm. I was still I I don't say I I wouldn't like stretch it and just go do a bunch of things that I couldn't do before or whatever. I still have time to do all of that. I would still wait to do all of that, not rush and do it because I have the money. I would treat everything as normal. I'd probably give something to charity, go to Hawaii like I wanted to <laughs> <laughs> And everything else, I'd probably just play, play, play normal. Like, I wouldn't do anything different. I think it's a good thing you said is a reason to wake up, right? I think that's a big component of most people's lives that either is a high, you know, a, a very high light for them, or it's something that they don't have. Agree. Right? That's very, very good. 
No, I was just that just kind of like when, she, yeah. when you said that tonight, that's kind of like that's a, a to wake up, right? Yeah, I think that is important, and maybe we should explore that a little bit further because if you have that in your life, then it's beautiful, right? But if you don't have that and you're missing it, mm -hmm. then your life is like you don't feel fulfilled, right? Yeah. You feel like you're always missing something, and it makes you unhappy, right? Mm -hmm. And it could lead to resentment, like right? with your current job. Yeah. Like if you don't feel fulfilled in your day job, you could be resentful towards it, right? And you can start hating your job. Yeah. And you don't want to get up and go to work every day. And every day feels like a drag. But for those people who do what they love every day, I mean, that's amazing. I feel like that's definitely the goal for most people, right? Mm -hmm. You said when you get money, you would invest more in your boxing program. And I know that's something that you're really passionate about. Yeah. So... Yeah. Yeah, I that's mean, great. that's reason to wake up. You know, I mean, I don't do it every day. At this point, I do it two days a week. But then, then yeah, I do it every day, right? you know, as far as you know, managing business things and, you know, talking with people and, you know, when new people call me. You know, so I kind of do it every day. Mm -hmm. um, You're constantly marketing yourself. Yeah, so there's always something I'm doing. Um, but, yeah, to make it my full-time occupation, mm -hmm. yeah, that, that would, you know, that is a reason that I wake up, you know, besides my family, besides, you know, other things. Yeah. You know, having that kind of passion for something is key, you know. I think not enough people have activities or hobbies or interests that keep them going, you know. I think a lot of people are still on that journey or that pursuit to really find that thing that they're passionate about or that thing that gives them a sense of purpose. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that they intentionally don't have it. They just haven't found it yet. Yeah. And they're searching for it. I think we could be too broad about it too. I think we want we want everything that we love to be the occupation, but sometimes it's not an occupation. Sometimes mm -hmm. they are meant to just really be hobbies and interests and things like that. Mm -hmm. And you know what you do for money, if it if you had to do something that you love and you had to do it for money, it changes the equation. You know, mm. because you have to do it for money, there's a certain amount of burden that comes with that, that you don't get if you're doing it for leisure. And we have to be careful what we ask for, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes, you know, you got to truly know that when it's now an occupation and you have to go and fish for that, it's going to, it's you know, it may change your, your, uh, your opinion of it, mm -hmm. you know. So, yeah, we got, we kind of went into another rabbit hole besides you know having money free us like yeah. the first thing we did if we won money what would we do that was the original question we kind of went down another rabbit hole of interest and occupation but i think this is uh some good stuff right yeah, good stuff for sure most people when they get free they most likely will do what they love mm -hmm. right yep so yes yeah, so i think we'll what do you think we'll end it here and we'll leave it out to the comments for people to kind of tell us what they would do right what would you do if you won some money you know some big money whatever amount and what would be the first thing you do or should we say money versus freedom which one would you choose that too that too leave it all in the comments money versus freedom what would you choose i choose freedom mm. so. freedom yeah i think i choose freedom you just said, hmm, that I, I had to think about it. <laughs> Only because I think, what can money get me a certain amount of freedom, right? No, you can still have money and still be a slave. Think about all the rich people you know who are probably still freaking in debt because they live beyond their means. They have money, that's but true. they're spending but I at think, a rate that's unsustainable. But I think that's an incorrect usage of money, though. True. Right? If you're making so much money that you don't necessarily have to work anymore, you shouldn't be spending all your money for you not to for you to have to still work. Well, let's just say it like this. You could still have money, but still be a slave to the dollar. Yes, yes. Right? That, you could be could, mental, yeah. mentally enslaved. Mm -hmm. Even though you're rich. Because you think you got to keep up with the Joneses and you're just very materialistic and you're not free. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I think a lot of, up. they don't, I think people in that position, a lot of times don't really know what they want. Mm -hmm. They just kind of stumble upon money. Yeah. Right? They worked hard, they're smart, they're educated. They went up the ladder, they're making money, but every along that 
ladder that they went up. Every single time they made more money, mm -hmm. they just spent more money. Agreed. They didn't think about what the money could do for them. Yeah. They didn't think about what they could do to get more money. Yeah. You know? Some don't even know who they are. They're just living this life. Yeah. Fast life. I want freedom. Yeah, freedom for sure.